God. What a fucking disaster. $70 for this piece of fucking shit. I no fucking time for this. But I do need one of these. What a fucking mess. Holy shit. Literally, that's the fucking rust. Fuck, man. Now I managed to get this fucking rusted piece of shit together. Still fucking... My God, what a fucking nightmare this was. Got that one there. This needs a whole new fucking timer. You can't just change that piece. I'm gonna see if I can JB weld the piece on, but I doubt it. This one's ready. This was another rust bucket shit. I got this back on here because it's busted off. Nothing to hold it on, so I JB welded the whole thing. So it works. Let's get the edge to it. This is fucking paint peeling. How the fuck am I gonna fix that? Jesus Christ. These are fucking terrible shape. So rust and corroded. I painted the back of it, but the rubber is off the feet. I gotta change the feet. Holy fuck, man. Fucking crazy. How fucking real is this? This is the other one here. This one here, I forget. I don't fucking remember, but it's pretty clean, it's not too bad. So hopefully maybe three, four, four things. I gotta go fix that stackable, cause that's what's gonna pay for all the other rest of this shit. We're just gonna change something, I'll make a video of it. Nicely sunny day, guys. Well, that's why I decided to make videos today. Look, this guy here. I'm selling all my drawers 150 each. He wants to fucking make a model number. Fuck off. And then he goes, Thank you. Do, do you have a GE American made? <laughs> fucking idiot. Fuck off, GE American made. Fucking idiot. I said, I have lots for sale. Come have a look. GE American made. What the fuck is it made in America nowadays? GE made in America. Fuck off, I'm gonna waste my time, this idiot. Then he says you have free delivery. Yeah, free delivery for the laundry set. If you pay 700 bucks, it's free delivery. Now you pay 150 for a fucking dryer, you fucking idiot. GE American made. Fuck off, why am I even, why am I even looking for fucking people? Another idiot. Is it available? Yes, available. If I come today, what is your best price within an hour? What the fuck is the price? I don't remember what the fuck you... Fucking best price. Oh my god, 150 for a fucking dryer? Is that your best price? Or is it this one? 300 bucks for Maytag washer. Fuck off, there's nothing cheaper than that, you idiot. You can have this for fucking 250. That's your best price, idiot. <laughs> fucking dummies. Suck a marketplace fucking people. I have one for 250. You can have for 250. Give me a fucking picture of it. Yeah. I'm sick of these fucking people, man. What else could we give her for fucking cheap? What well, looks like shit? Give her this fucking thing. Give her this fucking thing. Rusted bucket. I can't even see this fucking sun. Give a picture of the inside. There you go, that's what you can have, jackass. I need that dry block. I wonder if it's gonna give me a fight to take that off. Too lazy to go buy one. Let's try to take that dry block off. That would be for that, oh for fuck's sake. That would be for this one here. It's gonna be a bitch to take that tub out.
they don't make Kenmore. What the fuck she's saying? Son replied to you. That's pretty old. Oh my god. Did I tell you guys? A fucking lady reported me on Marketplace. This guy's a scammer. He, he sells old, old appliances saying that they're new. You fucking idiot. Like new condition. All old school analog. What a fucking idiot these people are. Fuck you. What do you want? That's pretty old. Oh my god. Fuck. I can't stop saying this. Yes. Nothing but the best. That lasts forever. All direct drive. No computers. No electronics. No garbage stuff. All new stuff is garbage. Oh, fuck. Forget it before I fucking kill them. $200 on top of the 600 because we have to pull a toilet. <laughs> You're pulling a freaking toilet? Yeah, the toilet's in the way. Oh, my God. Okay, no problem. So he's going to send you 800 Okay, so you made more money. Good for you. Sound good? Just so then he doesn't send it to you and you're confused. No, no, it's your money. No worries. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Where's my fucking phone holder? Jesus Christ, man. I don't know the fuck all this. I had it here somewhere. It makes it a lot easier f making fucking YouTube videos. Where is it? Where the fuck where I put it? Maybe it's in the fucking truck. Who knows? Okay, but I banged this out. What we need is this. If I can get it out. That's all we need. Holy fuck, look at this, guys. Holy shit, that's a Karastis or what, huh? Ah, it's a spare tub anyways. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> tub seal, guys, right here. I should put a new tub seal and I'll wash you when I'm at it. So we can bang this shit out. Without breaking the fucking thing. Stubborn, do you? Got it out. I could have bought one, yes, but oh well. This is what you look for. See those grooves on both sides? If they're nice and square, if they're rounded off, it's garbage. That's all we need. Dry block. This is what's going to hold the tub from spinning like crazy. Watch you guys watch the video. Say, oh, now I know. Ha ha ha. So, we want to pay 150 bucks for this fucking work. It's not worth it. That's how we need, guys. See the tub? Watch. When you when this happens, you know dry block is gone. Now you know. Welcome back, Carmac One Appliance Repair and Flip, guys. Here's a little tip. If you're a washer, drug dry washer, your tub is spinning like this uncontrollably, agitator is not moving just like this, that would be your dry block, guys, right here. That sits like this in your tub and seals the tub right around it, out here, it grips it, and when it's gone, this needs to be replaced, guys. Amazon sells it. What the fuck is this guy trying to say? Hello, is this dryer has holes? If not, I need one, please. I'm not gonna give you a fucking hose. Yes, are you interested? So no holes on it, right? Dryers don't have hoses, guy. I don't know what the fuck is this guy talking about? Dryer holes for a fucking dryer. Holy shit, man. He is, oh my god, if he were messing me over fucking dumb shit. Oh my god, what the fuck you want, man? I mean, did it need a hose or a pipe? When I turn it on to make the hot air come out from the dryer, I don't know what you're trying to, I don't understand. What? 
do you try and give me your number? A hose for a fucking dryer? Go home deep on by a fucking air hose. For the love of God. This idiot's gonna call us, guys. I gave my number for a fucking dryer hose. Oh my God. Let's see what he fucking has to say. Oh my God. Here we go. Hello. Hello? Hi, how are you, sir? Good, you? I'm great. Sorry for misunderstood. I yes. just want to ask, like, from the dryer, uh, dryer, the dryer side, there is any pipe or hose I have to connect, then I will make it outside of the house while I'm turning on the dryer to make the hot air go outside? Yes, you need a hose. That's uh, yeah. There, there is any, because I, I don't have uh, this option in my apartment, so I just want to ask, there is any kind of dryers that no hose required? There is, but they're garbage. They hardly even work. You're in an apartment? You can buy a hose and stick it out the window. Yeah, I know, but the place of the, uh, washing the clothes is not near by any window, to be honest. Oh, the dryer, you mean? Yes. Oh, is that near a window? No, actually, because the, the, I have only one window in the living room, yeah. so I cannot put the dryer there because of the guests. Okay. And I have another, another, another window in the, in the room. Okay, you know what you can do? You, get, right. you get a bucket, a five, five, five-gallon bucket, and you put what is it? a bucket. You know what a bucket is? Nope. Oh, okay, I have to send you a picture. A pail, you know a pail? Okay. Yeah, a pail. And you fill it up with three quarters of water, right? Okay. And you yeah. stick the hose not inside the water, just on top of the pail. You get a cardboard cut out for the top, and you tape the hose on top of the cardboard. And you let the oh. air and you let the air go in the water. And the water, what it does, it traps all the lint and everything. That's it. And then you change the water every so often. Depends on how much time you use the dryer. Oh, okay. You have this machine? It's not a machine. It's a bucket. It's okay. Can you send me the pictures, please? Oh, okay, yeah. I'll send you a picture. I'll text it to you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate You're it. welcome. No problem. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Bye. You're a fucking idiot. The fuck are you? Did he buy a dryer off me or what? Jesus Christ, how the fuck am I going to show him a bucket pitcher of water in it? Oh, for fuck. Are you fucking serious, buddy? You're an idiot. I got fucking shit to do here. Bucket, fill some water up here. Put a cardboard screen on top. Tape the fucking holes and let the fucking shit go in the water, you stupid idiot. Got no time for that shit. I want to do this fucking washer. Yeah, I built one. <laughs> fucking idiot. And I sent them a video. Get some cardboard. Cut your fucking circle. Put some water in the fucking tub. Tape that on there. Put your fucking dryer hose in the fucking hole here. And it'll vent in the water and collect all the lint. Simple as that. Tape and that's it. Done, idiot. People, fuck, leave me alone, man. I almost forgot. Alright, let's pull this out. Fuck sakes, come on. It's not gonna really come out. Oh, take it by piece. Come out. Oh my god. Is it the dry block? Or isn't it? it? Has to be a fucking dry block. Yeah, it's a dry block. See here are the grooves, guys? See the grooves? They're all worn out. See right here? Watch when I turn the top. See? The whole dry block turns. That's it. We'll change that. Where is it now? I had it in my hand till he called. Hopefully I can put it on there without pulling anything apart, but I don't think so. I don't know. Let's try. Gotta get your old tool here, guys. One of these. You need one of these for that. Amazon. I don't know. 25 bucks. Get it on here. Get your hammer. Bend that off and put that in. Not much light. Okay, the nut is off. There's your tub. 
I'm gonna take this ring out. Holy shit, I gotta take it all apart. For fuck's sakes. Man, to pull the tub out. Holy shit. I'm in big trouble. The fucking shaft is broken. The knobs on the shaft are gone, I think. Oh, if that's the case, I got fucking screwed. <gasps> oh no, there they are. Oh shit, they're right there. I just locked into it. They're still here, see? Oh, if I had those two fucking pins on both sides were broken off. Oh fuck, then I wouldn't do anything. I need a whole new fucking shaft. You're fucking screwed here, look. That's... Fuck says he sold this? And you gotta go pick it up from a customer with the fucking blue mint, the nice blue looking tape on it. Will cost fucking five dollars a roll. <laughs> he watches my videos too. If I say you bastard, you. Okay, we got the lid off. <laughs> oh, but I put that to lose that in there. It'll be a pain in the ass. Now. Holy shit, I gotta take this thing off here. Fuck. Uh, uh, clips all around the side. Push down uh, and up. Sharp metal here, guys. Down and up. All the way around. Down and up. Uh, down and up. Back here. What's this hanging here? Down and up. Uh, uh, down and up. Down and up. Down and up. One more here. Can't get this one here and I'm cutting my fucking hands. Pull the ring out, guys. This is how you change that block. I must well wash this all down. Oh my god, I hope I can get this tub out of here. Fuck. Pull the block out. I need two hands for this, guys. Who else is gonna come out? No, we're gonna remove the front panel. For oh, fuck's sakes. Oh my god, where's my fucking screwdrivers? I don't know where fucking ending is no more. Where's my fucking sc Oh, there it is. <sighs> Pain my fucking ass. So I'm gonna take this out here. Oh, just this one here. Pop that out. Just like that. Don't lose the screw. On the side. Got screws on this side. One here. One there. Don't drop the screw. Here we're going to put it now. With all this crap. Put it there. Got one on this side. Gotta find my tripod. One over here, guys. It's gonna be a bit harder because I don't have room between the sharp metal. The sun is beautiful, guys. It's like spring today. I think it's like 20 today, guys. Like freaking 20. Okay, now. Here's my hammer. Just lift it. No screw down there. No fucking way. No, lift it. Lift it. There we go. The hell's wrong with me? It's getting windy out. As I wash this out, these dogs are the washer. Now, this will pop out with two hands. Looks pretty clean underneath there. Thank God. I'm gonna grease the feet here in case someone wants to level it out. Okay, guys, give me a hand. I need two hands for this. Give me a, give me a second, not a hand. <laughs> okay, guys. Really tight, guys. You gotta be careful. Still has water in it. There's a top seal. I have one. I don't know if I should change it. And there's your dry block, guys. Now, see where it's worn here? See how that, see how it's not a square no more? It's like 
square here and then it opens up it's all grinded down to a circle that's when the tub's spinning here this piece here is what grips the bottom of the tub right here now compared to this one here i'll bring you guys in the sun in the sunlight now you can focus here see the grooves on that nice and square but one side is really nice and square the other one not so much look at this one shot garbage what if I can fix this a little bit make a bit of more like this side is perfect this side here it's, uh, it's a little bit I don't know how long it's gonna last but I'm supposed to set like this it's gonna sit right into those little pins there you go see all the pin there almost through it it might hold it that one's perfect that side see the pin there how locked in this perfect and that's it I'm gonna wash this tub a little bit then you grab your your thing here let's put it right on top and put it all freaking together guys simple as that guys and now you know 300 mate tag May tag sold. I have Whirlpool, Kenmore. I have one for 300. Shut that up. Okay, clean all the edge here nice. Clean it all as best as I can fucking clean. Okay, let the tub back in now, guys. Now you get this piece here again. And you put this back on. Just like that. And the more you tighten this, the more your tub will get solid. Don't strip it, nice and easy. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get my hammer, tighten it real good. Real good. And there you go, tub ain't gonna spin no more, guys. All done. And now my competition is going to know that trick because stupid me made a video of it now he knows that I'm not as stupid as you think I am alright let's tighten this up oh and his brother's going to know too they're learning off me those guys and that's it now your tab is freaking tight <coughs> now the only thing is I have a spare one this is missing but I got a spare one here, I could use this. This, I don't know what this does. So, beats the hell out of me, but I don't know what it does. But we'll put it on anyways. Because it's supposed to be there. Okay, let's put this shit back together. Oh, fuck, I almost just fucking hit the door to hit. How the fuck did this guy sell this like this, man? Look in here. It's so fucking clogged. I stuck my toothbrush, you pick some up there? Oh my god, it's so fucking big clump right in the middle there. How the fuck he sells shit like that? I gotta take it. I gotta clean the fucking dryer out. Oh my god, man. You're fucking tired of this shit. What the fuck? Lent in here? Oh my god. You're fucking full. Oh my lord. Let's get that all fucking cleaned out. Oh, am I gonna be done with this shit? This was a dryer I had that needed a timer. So I took the lid off this one and put, remember the rested one we had? So I'm gonna use a nice lid on this one. <coughs> I'm just gonna switch all the parts over here. Cause I have parts for the exact same dryer. So that's good to know. Change the door over, change everything, the lid. I took the lid off here, there's the lid. Old lids there, rusted piece of shit. All right, organize a little bit here. Tomorrow I'm gonna really organize this shit. Fucking water over the fucking place. Look at the fucking mess. Look at this. I'm gonna organize this tomorrow. I'm not gonna worry about it today. I'm fucking tired. I got quite a bit done today, guys. This needs a motor. You know where I'm gonna get a motor from. So that's garbage. This is done ready. I can't find a cop the cap for it. I don't know, we even had a cap. But it's all done. Clean. I cleaned the fan and everything. So I was waiting for ladies to come for looking for a dryer. So you to come after work. My delivery guy's coming back. He delivered the washer. 
that was a new GE computer one I gave the guy 500 bucks. Everything works good, he says. The jar is making a noise. So the fan's hitting something for fuck's sake. So I gotta go to St. Catherine's tomorrow and fix it. Guy calls me right away. Oh, I'm very worried. You know, the jar is making a noise. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I spoke to my delivery guy. The lady knows I'm be there tomorrow morning to take care of the problem. Don't you worry, my friend. Don't you worry. Okay, oh, I feel much better now. Jesus Christ. Relax. Fuck, I take care of the fucking problems. <clears throat> I don't know if it's this. Oh, what a day, guys. It's been a fucking hectic day. Oh, with Ethan? No, no, you're gonna pay me in full. What, you don't trust me to come there tomorrow? No, no, I'm gonna pay Ethan too, and he wants his money. Move the whole toilet and everything. No, you're gonna pay in full. I'll be there tomorrow. Don't worry, I don't cheat nobody. I'm not a kid, I'm 56 years old, I'm an old man, I don't cheat nobody. No, I'm not going to chase you. No, I'm not going to chase you. You got to pay it. You got to pay. You kept your word. I got it delivered there. You only paid 100 bucks each deposit. You got to pay the rest. The guy just moved the whole freaking toilet and everything for you. You, you owe $800. You owe 800 right? Yeah. Did he pay for Oh my god, I don't like these freaking games. You know what I mean? Never fucking again, these fucking cocksuckers. I saw you, you owe 800, buddy. The delivery guy told him about the delivery, and you had him remove a fucking toilet and put it back. For another 200 so you owe him $400. And you owe me the remaining $500. He goes, oh, because I said I'll go to her tomorrow because the jar is making a squeaky noise. Oh, can I give you 400 instead of 800 Why? You don't fucking trust me to come back tomorrow, you moron? Pay the fucking money. Oh, please, please, just, just so we build the relationship, until we build the relationship. That's fucking time you're fucking for you, buddy. Like, I wouldn't fucking go there and fix a squeaky dryer. Give me a fucking break. No, oh, please, please, please. Okay, he wanted to pay $400 now and the rest tomorrow. No, pay fucking $600 now and $200 tomorrow. You fucking idiot. I'll be there tomorrow, first thing in the fucking morning, to get my other $200. I said, I don't like fucking people playing these games holding shit over my fucking head, buddy. Don't do it again. Fuck people pissing me off. Got to pay the Ethan four hundred, four hundred dollars of his, his his money. Holy fuck, man! These people. That's a piece of shit. Piece of fucking garbage. What the fuck am I doing this? Making a big fucking rocket delivery guy with that fucking big truck. Making a big racket. Going fucking home. We've had enough of this shit now. What a fucking day. We've had enough of this fucking crap.